All right, folks, the order of the business today is to talk about cleaning guns. I'm, it's weapon cleaning day and uh, what I use and kind of my schedule. Uh, full disclosure, there is no schedule. <laughs> it's not a schedule. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this thing. Here we go. All right, so quick note on where I'm coming from with cleaning guns. Back in the day in the military, there was something called IGing your weapon. And what that meant is to make it so ridiculously clean that if some nerdy sergeant came by with a white glove and they wiped it down your barrel or bore, there would be no black on it. Back when the M16A1 or A2 came out, man, if you didn't keep those guns really, really clean, and perfectly oiled, those things would stop. They just wouldn't run. Now in the 21st century with guns like this, no matter how dirty I get this gun, it just keeps going. Now I'm not advising that. I do clean my guns. I just seldomly ever clean it. Now some of you purists, you're gonna troll me and be like, dude, you should be cleaning your gun every time you shoot it. And I'm like, man, that is a colossal waste of time. Let's agree to disagree. Back up off of me. I'm not judging you. Don't judge me either, right? So anyway, what I, it's kind of like I, I equate it to a trip to the dentist. I don't want to go to the dentist every week, though it'd be good for you to go to the dentist every week, I suppose. Man, that's a colossal waste of time and money, and so is cleaning your guns all the time if you don't have to. The big thing isn't cleaning your guns and making sure that it's free from any type of carbon buildup anywhere. What it's about is making sure that your gun is well lubricated at all times. All right, let's jump into our video now. I wanted that nice little disclaimer out there for you OG trolls that were about to lose your mind because I wasn't cleaning my guns after every shooting. So first off, we're going through all the types of materials that I use. Now, I've played with just about everything out there, and I've seen the amazing snazzy kits and toolboxes just filled with all kinds of cleaning stuff. You don't need all that stuff. If you want to get it and you have something already and you're really proud of it, more power to you. I've had all the kits, and what I want is a far more simple version. That allows me to be able to travel with it and... I don't want to waste a bunch of money on kits that I don't need. You don't need a whole lot of components. First off, though, before we jump into my simplistic kit, I wanted to be able to talk about oils and such. And by the way, I haven't mentioned our channel sponsor yet. Quick read, Sportsman's Guide. You guys are all right with us. No, I'm not doing the big funny ads. If y'all want to check out the funny ads, we have them maybe every other week, and they're really amazing. Some people watch our videos just for the Sportsman's Guide ads. Guys, if you use WarPoet, the my code WarPoet at checkout on Sportsman's Guide's website, you could save some of that cheddar. Yes, I said cheddar. I'm gonna be so hip like you young kids. You'll be like, man, this guy's hip. <laughs> Literally no one is thinking that right now. Zero people are thinking that. All right, so first off, let's talk oils. Some people use grease, some people get oil, and the people who are in the grease camp usually get very excited. They swear by it. Also, there's all kinds of different brands, variants. Really, I don't really care much. I know I'm supposed to have an opinion because I'm like a gun guy. I'm a ta tactical trainer. I travel the country teaching pistol classes, rifle classes. I was a former military guy as well, and so, man, I've used all the stuff. It's kind of like the debate, and this is how I look at it, in oiling your vehicle. Sometimes you want synthetic oil or 5W30 or 10W30 and 50, whatever your W30 is. I don't really care as much as you just keep your guns wet. You wouldn't drive a vehicle without oil, and you shouldn't dr use a gun without oil either. Now, there can also be cases to be made at different temperatures. You want different types of viscosities and different type of... Look at the word viscosity. Guys, we're getting so smart around here. Ugh, dumb. But me pointing that out was really stupid. So, anyway, I don't really care much. Just keep them wet. Now, I was on this stuff. This was called Fire Clean. I used it for a long time. Really, it's a synthetic blend of a bunch of different vegetable oils, and it ended up costing some 20-something bucks for this, and it is 
not many ounces. This is two fluid ounces and it costs something like 20, 25 bucks. Way expensive. And essentially it is basically vegetable oil and they've got their own proprietary. No, it's not because we add this special little whatever. <laughs> I don't know. This stuff works really, really well. And if you've just got bucks to blow, fire clean's pretty cool. I've got all this stuff too. Hops nines work just fine. This is slip 2000 and extreme weapons lubricant and all of these are claiming to be the bee's knees really again i say i just use whatever i find lying around that's just fine just make sure you keep your guns wet some of these things will last longer than others but really i just don't want to pay a lot and i don't want a bottle that leaks in my bag so i know that's pretty persnickety is that a word persnickety how about finicky that's pretty finicky of me of like i don't care as much about the brand i care about not spending as much and I want something that's not going to leak all over the place, right? So this is Breakthrough Clean. This is what I'm using right now. And by the way, any of the stuff you see in the video, whatever you want, pick your poison, check below in the links, and I'm going to have links directly to the stuff. It'll make your life a little bit easier. The current oil that I really like is this Breakthrough Clean. I like it because it's a lot of juice, two fluid ounces, and the bottle isn't leaking. It's got this kind of syringe thing. And I'll talk about the delivery system in just a moment because I have something I've been using lately. Really, really cool stuff. And uh, it's about 10 bucks a bottle. That's not terrible. It's lasting a really, really long time. Some of these other last a really long time too, but I don't want to have to oil my guns every single time I use them. I want to be able to crack open a chamber and be like, ah, this is still lubricated because I want to spend my time shooting and not playing around with this stuff. Now what I want to do is talk about my oil delivery system. And uh, either this bottle, fantastic. Again, it's like it's weird what ends up becoming important to you later on. What mattered before is how awesome is the oil. And now I'm kind of like, hey, give me something pretty darn good. But I don't want a bottle that leaks everywhere. So everything seems to leak. When I put it in a bag, I'm traveling the country and getting on airplanes and stuff. And so when something leaks in a bag, it's really obnoxious when you crack open something and then all your stuff has got oil residue. That's no fun at all. So then you get smart and you put it in a plastic bag, but then you open up your plastic bag and the plastic bag is just coated in oil, which means your oil is coated in oil. And I know that sounds really high maintenance of me, but it's the little things in life and that just bothers me. It irritates me. I want to just throw the whole bag away. Instead, what I've been using recently is these type of little syringes. And what you do is you end up loading these things down. They're rechargeable, loading them down with whatever oil or grease that you like. And you just bring these little syringes in your range bag. So I've got these stashed everywhere. They're not expensive. You can get about three of these for eight bucks. But you wouldn't want to use that one. What you'd want to do is get the whole kit so that you can recharge it. And it'll come with this stopper as well. Again, links below so you don't get the wrong thing. Uh, then whatever oil or grease you want to be able to use, you just take this big stopper right here. And you're able to suck up whatever you want. And then you can load your syringes up. Now, when I first got this, somebody approached me at a trade show, something like SHOT Show or NRA Show. And I immediately hated it because it was like the jigsaw puzzle of oil. I'm like... That's cute, guys. Way to overcomplicate something. Now you've got 30 different parts just to have a couple drops of oil. But the benefits is, is it's really, really small. And now I've, I've come full circle. I really like these. And when people see me using them at classes, they lean in and are like, what in the world is this wizardry? And I feel like a wizard. So that's great. But anyway, uh, there's just a few parts. And as soon as you know how to work them, it's pretty darn cool. I've got one already loaded up right here, and the thing is, is these are not leaking in my bag. It's the first thing. Whatever bottle I have, all the bottles seem to leak. I haven't seen the Breakthrough Clean one uh, leaking as much, but I've just kind of given up on traveling with big bottles. Whenever I'm traveling, I don't need a big bottle. I just need a few drops. Anyway, this is pretty cool. The way that it works here is you take this outside cover off like so. Voila. This little stopper, so right now there's two little parts. And then this right here is kind of like an end cap so nothing can leak out of it right there. There's also little pieces and then this one is for oil and it's got a thinner needle right there. And this one is for grease and you can see it, it has a much thicker needle on the end. So whichever one you're gonna use, you can just put the other one away. I'm using oil, right? So what you can do is load this stopper up with just a little bit of oil and drop this guy in there. 
and make sure you leave enough room so that this stopper is pulled up just to the point where this this basic needle goes right there that's if you want some type of fine delivery system as you put this on the end so that you can be real real specific on how you drop where you drop that oil down so say that you've got you're trying to drop a couple little uh, dots inside a bolt on an AR-15, you'll be able to really be able to get those. I leave these guys out so I don't have any of those parts. I'm usually just dropping it straight out of the dropper like so. This seals it so it's not going to leak right here. And this cover that was on it right here ends up going down inside the syringe right here. If you want to, you can put this little stopper, this hat on the back so it looks a little bit nicer like so and then you can end up just pushing it down to uh, drop some oil in there recharging is pretty simple you take this big stopper right here and you put this in converter on right here that screws in there then this one right here in the breakthrough clean uh, basically goes in like this and i've got this nice little seal lock right there i can go ahead and flip it up and draw stuff down oh look at that that's amazing very cool and now i can go ahead and separate the two so i've got all this joy right there ready to go oil is definitely coming out of here just a little bit not too bad but it is there then i can go ahead and take this right here zip this on zip this on right there and then I'll just basically go ahead and push oil up oops I've got this in so I can't push up very good and we'll go ahead and push up as much as we want right there let's go all the way right there oh fantastic this this is working awesome there we go so there's our oil and now all I have to do is put on my cap right there I can take my little sleeve there and there, and I am ready to travel. And this oil is going to last me a very long time because you just need a few drops. To employ it, take this cap off. The topper here goes in, and I am ready to oil my guns. Just that simple. If you had brought the little needle, now you have a little bit more precision. But if you store this needle inside here, now you don't have as much storage spot once you put this in. And you can only get a little bit of oil in there. So I usually just leave these off. Anyway, not very expensive, but if you care a lot about not leaking in bags and always having oil somewhere close to you, I load down about three, four of these, and wherever I've got bags or vehicles, wherever I've got guns, I've got some of these stashed away. So it ends up being a pretty darn good thing rather than having one big mega bottle that's going to last you years. That is enough for oils. Let's talk about the equipment I actually use to clean the guns. You don't need a lot. And again, I told you, I used to have all the goodies and where you'd like kind of flay open these cases and it was just this uh, big array of all these tools and swabs. I've jettisoned all of that. This is basically what I use. Step one, you tear up an old piece of a t-shirt. Two, a toothbrush. Guys, don't brush your teeth with the same toothbrush that you're using on your guns. That's a pro tip. You're welcome. I know, shocking. If you've got a pistol, here's my Glock 19, then you'll want something for the bore. And if you've got something with a longer bore, this is an AR-15 pistol, you'll want a bore snake. So both of these are for cleaning bores. You absolutely need something like this. So Longer barrel, shorter barrel, good to go. And basically, this is all I need. Now, sometimes on the bolt, you'll have carbon buildup on something like an AR. You'll have carbon buildup on the bolt itself. So having something where you can really scrub uh, well, something like some dental picks are really good. And again, just like the toothbrush, make sure you're not using the dental picks on your teeth that you're using on your guns. You're welcome. I know some of you guys are just crestfallen. As you're looking at my kit and you're being like, that's it? I'm like, dude, that's it. I want to be able to travel light, simple, and I don't want to spend a bunch of money so I can save money on guns and bullets and taking Miss Poet out on awesome dates, right? This is a sacred trust I have for you, and if I don't believe in something, I'm not going to peddle a product. So I want to just show you simple 
this is what I've reduced it to. Though I used to have all the stuff, I realized, man, this is really all the stuff I ever used. So now we talk about the scheduling, the frequency of actual cleaning. I may put thousands of rounds through a gun before I actually break it open. And when I do break it open to clean it, I'm just kind of looking at it. Man, this is gnarlyed up pretty darn nasty. It is time uh, to clean this. And when I do, first thing, I'll just kind of take a toothbrush and I'll rub and that'll kind of kick the big stuff off right there. And if I needed to now, if I just grab something here, took a couple little drops of oil here, 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 maybe right there. Rub that in a little bit. Good to go. Take the barrel. Hey, that looks pretty good already. Let me clean this up with a toothbrush. knocking the big stuff off. I'll go ahead and wipe that off. Go ahead and run this through the bore in the same direction that the bullets are traveling. Hold it up to some light, looks pretty darn good. And then I'll do a real light coat of oil on this as well. And that's backwards because I'm an idiot. <laughs> there you go, just swipe down the barrel, hit those barrel lugs right there, the feed ramp just a touch right there. And then I can just go ahead and drop it back into my blaster, and that would be good. Then I'll take one more little drop of oil and put it right down here in my fire control system. Just one little drop to help smooth that out, and then I'll just kind of work it back and forth. And that's basically my whole deal. That is it. Then I just rack my slide a bunch and let it go. Fantastic, and that's that's just about good. And so maybe that's it. literally that whole process. I just caught on camera for you. That could be how I clean my gun. It is that wildly fast. Uh, sometimes I just am in the mood, you know, to clean a gun much more thoroughly. But you just don't need to very often. Every one, maybe once or twice a year, I'll crack this open and really get into it and clean it. But it's really just kick the big stuff off. Uh, go ahead and put a light coat of oil on the key spots where you're getting friction rub and that right there I mean, I probably could just clean that gun crack it open clean it oil it and put it back together all within about one minute AR-15 takes a little bit more time as you just have to, it takes a little bit longer to take it apart uh, first off, and then there's just more surface area, but this is how I do my gun. So anyway, you get to clean your guns however you want. This is how I clean my guns and how I oil them. And if you really enjoyed this video, if this is going to save you some time and had some aha moments for you, or maybe landed you on a product or relieve some of the tension to go out and buy all the goodies that you don't need, hopefully I've helped you. So go ahead and hit thumbs up. Uh, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel because you know we're going to have better stuff for you in the future as well. Uh, go ahead and shop Sportsman's Guide because they're our channel sponsor and we really dig them a lot. And make sure you stay tuned for uh, future videos rolling down the pipeline. Guys, you are absolutely awesome. And uh, train hard, train smart. We'll see you next time.